last offseason, the Atlanta Braves set out to try to find another playoff starter. They talked with free agent pitcher Aaron Nola, who instead decided to return to the Philadelphia Phillies. Then they continued their search, and in late December, they found Chris Sale from the Boston Red Sox. Now, it's hard to believe that a pitcher of Chris Sale's stature and success would be available in a deal, but for the last several years, Sale has not been able to stay healthy with little small injuries that have kept him from making 30 starts. Last year, for example, he made only 20 starts for Boston. The Braves traded Vaughn Grissom, a player who was not going to play anywhere on this team, except on the bench, to Boston for Chris Sale. And they believed so much in what they had heard about Sale from others who had played with him or had been around him that they gave him a contract extension. He signed through next year with an option for 2026. So the Braves had a lot of high hopes that Chris Sale could stay healthy and could come back. Well, so far, he's been unbelievable. Chris Sale is one of the best pitchers so far in the National League with a 6-1 record. He had another great seven-inning performance on Tuesday night against the Cubs, shutting them out. And he is one of the best statistical pitchers so far in the sport through the first quarter of the season. That's exactly what the Braves needed. And the rotation and the bullpen, for that matter, have kept this team afloat and really is one of the best teams in baseball, while the offense has sputtered, at least to this point, and at least compared to what it did a year ago. They're not averaging 5.8 runs per game this year, so with it right around five instead, the pitching has had to be better, and it's been very, very good. In fact, in the last seven games, the Atlanta starting pitchers have allowed only four earned runs. That's an ERA of 0.85. The Braves have won six of those seven games. How about this? In the last 25 games, the Braves starting pitchers have allowed only 38 runs in 150.2 innings of work. That's an ERA of 2.27. And the foursome of Max Freed, Chris Sale, Charlie Morton, and Reynaldo Lopez have a combined ERA of 2.83 so far, while the other starters, including Spencer Strider, who made two before he got hurt, 5.28. Well, that's a big reason the Braves went out and got Chris Sale. And the sad part is that Spencer Strider is not part of this rotation. Can you imagine if he had stayed healthy and not gotten hurt, how much better this rotation would be with him in it? Well, they'll be fine until they can find someone better than Bryce Elder to be in the rotation, and he's doing okay right now. But the emergence and health of Chris Sale is what has been so key for this team this year. Plus, he is a great teammate. These guys love him in the clubhouse. He wants to win a championship, and that's exactly the kind of pitcher the Braves need. They need someone who, when October rolls around, will want the ball in Game 1 or a Game 7 situation. And remember, Chris Sell helped the Red Sox win a World Series back in 2017. So yet again, Alex Anthopoulos has struck pay dirt. Another great trade. Vaughn Grissom, not Marquise Grissom, Vaughn Grissom, a player who wasn't even going to be in the starting lineup this year, for a guy who right now is in the Cy Young conversation in Chris Sale. 